Also tonight we continue our coverage on a story that we first brought you Tuesday following a fatal shooting at the Sears Food Enterprise in Buffalo. Police say 25-year-old Abdul Hussein shot 62-year-old Tofiq al Shari in the head, killing him. Well, the graphic crime was recorded on video and then shared on social media. Two on your sides, Andy Payton broke the story last night that Facebook, Andy, I still can't get over this, would not pull the video off its platform. And tonight, I know the mother of Al Shariri's children spoke with you about her desperate plea. Yes, Scott and Mary Alice, that's right. For the past day and a half, this gruesome post has lived on Facebook. It's been shared by thousands, but tonight, too, on your side is helping the victim's ex-wife after she reached out to us this morning to shield her young children from seeing the video. We want to remind to our viewers that this video you are about to see is quite graphic. I can't think straight, like, and to know that it's out there for people to see and, like, and they're sharing it, like, I don't understand how they can put it on Facebook and be okay with themselves. For the last 36 hours, Melissa Al Shiri has had to relive the worst moments of her life over and over again. Like you're seeing a man get executed, basically. Al Shiri requested that we do not show her face on camera, but did give us a picture. She found out about her ex-husband's death like everyone else. After thousands of users posted, liked, and reshared surveillance footage of her ex-husband's murder on Facebook and other social media platforms. I don't know anything else to do. I've yeah. called everybody I could, the homicide detectives, the police department. I'm asking, going to people, finding the people that are posting these videos and asking them to take them down. Facebook placed the video behind a sensitive content warning yesterday after two on your side contacted the social media giant. They allow it to remain on the platform because according to Facebook, it violates none of their standards. Facebook told two on your side that the social media platform only, quote, removes videos and photos that show the violent death of someone when a family member requests its removal. An act Al Shiri is frantically trying to do tonight before the potentially traumatizing posts appear on her twin daughter's feeds. I'm trying to find the right words and the right way to tell them without traumatizing them. I don't want them to see their dad being murdered. No kid should ever have to go through that. But even if she's able to get it taken down, she says it doesn't take away the unforgettable images seared into the memory of thousands. That's all people are going to remember or know of him is that he was a person that got shot in the head in this corner store by his coworker. Like, not that he was a good father or a good person, had a kind heart, and would do anything for about anybody. The shooter was arraigned on a murder charge yesterday and is scheduled to return to court Monday for a felony hearing. He's facing a maximum sentence of 25 years to life in prison. And Scott and Mary Alice, we will continue to update our viewers on this and see if she's able to get this video taken down. All right, Andy, we'll look forward to your follow-up. Thank you.